Hello and welcome to Me in the USA. I'm the Heathen Chips, and this is my associate, Mr. Gray. We're making 50 10% traditional meads from 50 states. This mead will be made with honey from Indiana. We have Wildflower Ridge. Bit less color to this, a little bit of a yellowish kind of hue, but pretty light in color. I found the ones that come off lighter come off a little sweeter, in my opinion. It smells a bit florally. Tastes very floral. Very. Wow. Floral. Pleasant, though. I like the way that kind of escalates up pretty quickly, but it's not too sharp for me. Not so floral as you might like if you go to the store and you buy, like, elderflower wine or something like that. So those taste like you're practically drinking perfume to me. Mm. So not so floral like that, but very like light spring floral that you yeah. might get from a honey. It's very strong. Oh, stronger than I've seen in a lot of the other flavors, honeys. I like the combination of the two, how 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 potent the honey flavor is and the um, and, and, and the floral flavor. It combines really well for I mean, what you're expecting. This is like a premium uh, flavor for wildflower to me. Yeah, it, it, to me, if I, c I can agree with that. If you were saying you were looking for wildflower honey, mm -hmm. this is kind of the flower or the flavor you would be expecting to taste. All right. Well, so. hopefully it lives up to that. <clears throat> All right, well, we're back with Indiana. Here we are. Nice, clear meat. Smells really floral. Uh, actually, very pleasant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not an overpowering scent, but mm -hmm. very noticeable. Strong floral flavors as well. Almost to a point, like, I'm not caring for them. I was going to say it's almost, it's like two or three notches below sickening sweet and just about as thick. <clears throat> it's kind of interesting on it. I think it's just, to me, it's the fact that it tastes, and, and I know you've thrown around the word floral a lot. To me, when I'm saying floral, I'm literally saying it tastes to me like flowers. And so you might find mm. some alcohols that has like, I think like uh, one of the flower flavors or whatever like that, but it's never been something I've been into. Yeah, I'm tasting that either here. I don't think I, I don't feel like I'm tasting it as potently. I think I'm more distracted with the um, sweetness of it. Yeah, the overabundance of the sweetness to it. I mean, it kind of helps because I I think I feel like this as far as a floral is a little bit more on like a like a lemony zesty kind of side to it. But that uh, I think that's only really shining through more because of how sweet it is. It is really sweet, like more sweet than what I would like. And yeah, you like, like yours significantly sweeter. Yeah, than... it's and it's sweeter than what I would want as well. Overall, flavor-wise, though, it's not bad. It's just a little over the top with uh, with the pound, mm -hmm. which is really surprising. I think that's the first case in our we've had something that was too sweet with mm -hmm. that. And maybe if it mellows out over the next uh, five months or so like that, those flavors will mellow out and become a better well, one. But. And there's a, there's another option to, to boot in and stuff that we could slightly dilute it and stuff if to get something a little bit more palatable. You mm -hmm. could add in some more water, some more spring water, and mm -hmm. and even that out potentially a little bit more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a pass for now. I yeah. like it. It's. It's too better than some we drink, yeah, but it's it's not going to be one you're going to jump to if you had other options. Mm -hmm. But it is drinkable. Oh, ah. well, yeah, I take it. Thank you for watching. Till next time.